Hey there, how's it going? My name is Lindsay. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's grocery haul. Oh my god, you're falling. Don't fall, please. Okay, well now you're sideways. Eh. Okay. Um, I went shopping in store for this week. I had to haul tail to the bus stop. So I am at the bus stop now and I hope nobody is staring at me film because this is awkward and weird. I went shopping in store and every time I do that, I end up spending way more than I wanted to. And that is what happened today. Um, I did, however, film a little bit in there. I started off my grocery hauls filming the like what's new in the grocery store st type stuff um, and then I stopped because I couldn't keep up with that every week they just aren't restocking new stuff that often and and honestly I went in there today and I didn't really find that many great things um, but I'm still gonna share them with you anyway before I show you everything we got I'll insert those clips um, but before I do that I will share our weekly meal plan with you so today is Monday and my son Raymond actually has open house at school tonight. So we are gonna go to that that starts at like 5.30. So I'm keeping dinner really simple and we are just gonna have, I picked up some rotisserie chickens and we're gonna do a can of baked beans and some leftover potato salad that I have. On Tuesday, I'm gonna make shrimp ravioli. I just have some frozen raviolis that I got from like Aldi, I think a while back. I haven't been to Aldi in weeks. On Wednesday, I'm going to put a pork shoulder in the crock pot, and so we'll have pulled pork sliders. On Thursday, I am going to make chicken parm for me and my husband, and then for the kids, I'm going to make spaghetti. So I'll just make the noodles that we'll all have, and then my kids will have the meat sauce and then I'll just use a little bit of the red sauce to make chicken parm for me and my husband. Friday we will have leftovers. Saturday we'll probably go out. We usually do that on Saturdays and on Sunday we're just going to grill hamburgers and hot dogs and keep it easy peasy, low key, low effort. Now I'm going to insert the pathetic clips that I have of things I found in the grocery store today and then I'll show you everything that we got. Here is just a quick little overview of everything that I grabbed today and I am gonna start over here I grabbed two rotisserie chickens uh, Rob likes the lemon pepper and I like the traditional um, and I figured whatever we don't eat I'm just gonna pull apart and keep in the fridge so that we can throw it on whatever for last-minute meals throughout the week that's always good to have on hand so I grabbed two of them and then back here are all the like sauces and condiment type things I guess. Um, I did need another jar of minced garlic so I grabbed that. I wanted to try the Kinder's taco blend seasoning. I haven't tried it yet. They were out of stock last time I wanted it and I love all the Kinder's seasonings so I wanted to pick that up while they had it. I also grabbed the Kinder's roasted garlic barbecue sauce. We usually get Sunny's barbecue sauce but like I said I have loved everything Kinder's so far and roasted garlic barbecue sauce sounds so good so I'm gonna try that on the crock pot 
pulled pork this week. Uh, this is spicy chili crisp. We needed some more sambal for our hummus. Um, but it looks like my Walmart doesn't carry that anymore. And this was like the closest seeming thing that they had. So I just grabbed it up and hopefully I'm sure we'll find it to be good on something. Uh, the kids just needed another bottle of syrup. So I grabbed it and I don't think these are new. They didn't say new anywhere, but they were in the juice aisle and I'd never seen them before. They're organic super fruit, um, freezy pops. They have mango, orange, strawberry, lemon, and blueberry pomegranate. They're all completely organic ingredients with no sugar added. Um, as you can see, and if you've watched my other grocery hauls, we are not a health nut family by any means whatsoever. But whenever I find stuff like this that is a little easier on my conscience, you know, why not grab it? So I grabbed these for us to try. I mentioned last week that I am desperate for my kids to have lunchbox items that they'll actually eat. And I picked up a few uh, what are they called? Lunchables last week for them to try and they were not fans. <laughs> so I figured we'd give these a go to see if they like these. Um, they're just White Castle sliders. I'm going to have to scrape the onions off after I heat them up, but we're going to give them a go, see how that works. Usually I grab them pancakes for breakfast, but we decided to switch it up this week and get some cinnamon French toast sticks because they really like these. And this is Ava's favorite cereal. So I grabbed a box of frosted mini wheats and then my Sargento balanced breaks I get every week. For chips, I just grabbed a bag of tortilla chips. Um, we wanted them a few different times this week and now I can't remember the stuff that we wanted them for. And these were on sale for less than $2. So I just grabbed that bag. And then I got these mini Oreo packs for lunchbox snacks. And then I got so much bread. Um, I'll start right here. These are just little street tacos, little flour tortillas. They're super fluffy and soft. This is a 12 count and Ava likes to snack on these and I like to have them for whenever we're having, you know, whatever type of taco meat or I made steak fajitas last week and we ate them on these. So I picked up another pack of those. Got some hot dog buns, some hamburger sliders. I did get this Dave's Killer Bread Good Seed Bread for breakfast for like avocado toast and for if Rob has a sandwich um, he can have this little bit healthier bread and then I grabbed this loaf of french bread because I'm gonna make it with some soup this week they were all out of the juice boxes that my kids like so I grabbed these Mott's apple juice bottles and I'm hoping that they'll be okay with that we'll find out uh, Raymond has recently fallen in love with lemonade so I grabbed a bottle of it and I typically do not get meat from Walmart we get all of our meat at Costco but I got a ton of sausage this week um, this is Koneka sausage it's just really delicious smoked sausage it is a regional item and whenever they have it I like to grab it just because it's been pretty hard to come across lately so I grabbed two packs of that and then I grabbed this mild Italian sausage for the soup that I'm gonna make Rob's been asking for the copycat Olive Garden Zuppa Toscana soup and this is the sausage I use for it and then I also just grabbed these chorizo sausages I've never cooked with these before and I didn't even plan on getting this um, but I have seen other videos where people cook with this and we've really been on a Mexican food kick lately uh, so I decided to grab them and I'm sure I'll figure something out. Now for dairy, I did get this Mexican style grated cheese to go on some of our Mexican dishes that we've been liking. I did get a gallon of organic whole milk. I got this four pack of the Nusa vanilla bean yogurt. I haven't had vanilla bean, but I really like their like pumpkin seasonal yogurt. Um, they didn't have it out yet, so I grabbed this for a quick breakfast. I did get an 18 count of the organic Happy Eggs. We needed some butter, and typically I get that at Costco, but I forgot this last time we were there, so I'm just filling in at Walmart. And this is the two-pack of the Kerrygold butter. And then I also grabbed this single stick of garlic and herb butter because that just sounded really good, so we're going to give that a try. And then I got this big thing of mozzarella cheese for the chicken parm I'm going to make this week. Now for produce, I did get this big bag of kale for the soup. I just got one bag of mine and Rob's 
preferred frozen vegetables, the broccoli, carrot, sugar snap peas, and water chestnuts, because this is like inching up on $3 a bag. So I'm just getting one bag at a time as needed. I got a thing of strawberries. I finally found some good ones. Uh, I did get some seedless grapes. I would not have gotten this little pre-picked container if they had had the big bags, but they didn't have any of those. And Ava needs a fruit in her life and she's been liking grapes lately. So this freaking thing was like $4, but I got it. I got a bag of small avocados. I did get this pre-washed romaine lettuce for sandwiches. And then I just got the small container of spring mix salad mix for this week because we still have some left from the big container we got last week. A bunch of bananas, some juicy beefsteak tomatoes for sandwiches. I got some shallots to go on my avocado toast and then this five pound bag of russet potatoes and that's it for the food. And for the non-food items, I just got this um, thing of to-go coffee cups because whenever we have people over sometimes they aren't gonna stay very long or whatever um, and we wanna offer them coffee, we don't ever have to-go coffee cups. So I wanted to get these just to have. We needed some more melatonin. Uh, this is kids melatonin, which I do give to the kids sometimes, but Rob and I also take it sometimes and we haven't had it for a while so i just grabbed another bottle of that and then here i have some children's ibuprofen and acetaminophen for raymond he broke his arm this weekend he fell off of his bike and he goes to see the orthopedic doctor tomorrow morning um, the day that i post this but he's doing okay but he does still request some pain medicine a few times throughout the day because he is sore so we got him some ibuprofen and some tylenol and that is it that is everything that we got for this week. Ooh, it's a mess and my kitchen is dark. I apologize, um, but I will leave the total across the screen right here. I had to come outside because my house is just so dark. Like I have lights that I set up and everything. I even have a little light next to my camera and still it's just not bright enough. It's also pretty cloudy today, um, so that doesn't help. But anyway, that is going to do it for today's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, I hope you consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, I hope you consider doing so. I post grocery hauls with, along with my meal plan every single Tuesday on my channel. I also post weekly mid-size try-on hauls and occasional vlogs. So if you are into content such as that, then I hope you decide to stick around and to see you in my next one. Bye.